Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be showing you some of the different settings associated uh, associated with packaging your product. So if you're, you know, if you've watched the past 60 or so videos, right now you should be at a point where you're probably going to be ready to, you know, finish up your own game or you've learned everything that you need to create one and you just want to share it with your friends, you know, put your game on the App Store or anything like that, you know, you're going to need to put your game onto a separate executable, you know, so it can be run on Windows, Xbox, PS4, whatever. So that's sort of what I want to be running through with you today. I want to go through some of the different settings, what they mean, and then hopefully in the next tutorial, we're going to actually get one of these uh, one of these projects, probably the one that you've been working on over the past few videos, and uh, you know get it onto the platform. We're going to be focusing on Windows, um, but anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the packaging process. So as of right now, there is something really important that you need to know uh, before you do go and uh, you know start packaging your product. You need to make sure that you play test it thoroughly. Now, big game studios they actually have you know big teams of uh, big teams of QA testers to do all of this stuff. You know before you you do go and package it just check for any bugs just play it you know even if it means walking around your level gosh that is loud even if it means walking around your level go every area uh, make sure there's no visual you know problems but if you are happy with it you can continue also there is one more thing that you need to do before you actually uh, you know even consider packaging is make sure that you build your lighting your geometry navigation and stuff like that. There is actually a setting for this um, to actually do a full rebuild each time. Um, but you know, if you want to just help with the iteration time, you can just do it manually beforehand and then you don't have to do it over and over again. So some of the stuff for like building, there is a few at, uh, there is a few quality settings that we can adjust, and these quality settings are going to be for things like lighting. So, for example, at the moment, I've just got the lighting quality at preview. This is essentially just going to allow me to, um, you know, quickly build the lighting before I go ahead. Um, before you actually do package your game, you might want to just go ahead and change it to production. Uh, and then just build all of this stuff. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and just do a quick build on everything. So I could do, you know, build lighting and then just go one by one and just make sure everything's all done. Once that is all done, we can actually head over to the packaging settings. I'm actually going to stop this any second now once it's ready. And then once that stopped, you know, once we're comfortable with our level and our game and everything, the game plays down, we can start heading over to, uh, the packaging settings. So just give me two seconds here and we should be able to play around with it. Any second now. That's the trouble with uh, building, you know, building your lighting and such. Um, you're gonna have to wait a while. Um, so that's kind of why we use the preview instead of the production quality. If we was to use the production quality every time, it would just take us way too long. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and head over to the packaging settings. So if you go to file, and then if you go down to, uh, if you go all the way down here, we can start packaging our product. So if you go to file, package product, and then we can decide to package it to a certain uh, platform. But for right now, what I want to show you how to do is just go over some of the packaging settings so we can set it up so it works perfectly on the platforms that we want. So the first thing I want to show you is the supported platforms. You know, we're just going to be targeting Windows for now, so I'm just going to make sure that's the only one that is selected. Now, keep in mind, if you do want to target other platforms, you are going to have to work with certain SDKs and restrictions and stuff like that. You may even have to have a dev kit to test it. Um, if you have tested it, then you know you're all good to go. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and work Windows. If you wanted to target Android, you know, you can just go ahead and choose Android or whatever else in here. So the next thing that I want to do then is go over to the packaging settings. So these packaging settings allow us just to change a few basic things um, that when we that, that will happen when we package our product. So we've got things like here, uh, build configuration. You're just going to be able to choose uh, shipping and development. Uh, I'm not going to explain too much what that is right now, but once you do actually package your product for 
you know, shipping, you change it to shipping. You might also want to do a full, full rebuild, uh, full rebuild uh, if you haven't done one already uh, through here. That's just going to essentially make sure that it rebuilds everything before it actually packages it, just so you know there's not going to be any mistakes. You've also got a little checklist, a uh, little checkbox for, for distribution. It's the same as pretty much the shipping option here. Um, we've got a few settings here, but I'm not going to go over those in too much detail. But the most important ones that I'm going to go over now is the maps and modes and the descriptions. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and go up to description and you're going to set all of the information for the game. So that information is going to be things like the company name, uh, homepage, support, whatever. It's not too important that stuff, but you're also going to want to change things like the project name, description, licensing terms, or even if you wanted to, you could go ahead and set a project thumbnail. But now, probably the most important bit for packaging and, um, you know, defaults and stuff, you might want to use some of these settings under maps and modes. So I'm just going to leave the local multiplayer stuff here for now. I'm just going to leave that to default and we're not even going to touch it. The thing that I probably uh, should say that we go over is the game default map. This is essentially the uh, the map that is loaded as soon as you open up your game. So this map should probably be set to whatever you know whatever level has your main menu in it. So if you just go ahead and drop down, you can choose one from there and just make sure it is the one that actually has your main menu, so it's displayed on the screen as soon as they open it. Editor startup map. That's not really too important, it's just the map that's uh, opened uh, by default when you open up the editor for the first time. Then we've also got our default modes. These uh, these default modes just essentially changes the game modes. If you've created one, you know, for yourself, custom, then you're going to make sure, uh, you're, you're going to want to make sure that you have the right one on there by default. And then, you know, with those default game modes, you can also change things like the HUD class and such. Um, but usually you're going to set this up on a level to level basis and if you haven't uh, you know, set this up in the world properties for the levels, it's just going to use all of this stuff. Anyway, this is pretty much everything I wanted to go over for the packaging settings for now. If you go ahead and head over to the next video, we're going to be showing you exactly how we can turn this into an ex uh, executable. Because we've got all the packaging settings ready, now all we got to do is just package it and away we go. Also, one thing I wanted to note before we do go, you can see there's now a little exclamation mark over these platforms that we haven't selected in the supported platforms. That just reminds us that, you know, it's not really built for it. Um, either way, you're going to know what it's built for when you're designing the game anyway, because you're going to have to have inputs for things like controllers or touchscreens or anything like that. Anyway, thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.